Hi YouTube family, happy happy Saturday. It is a beautiful warm day here in Canada. I'm in the backyard and I just want to show a little update of how my plants are coming. So these are the peppers and they're coming along nicely. I couldn't come out here for a few days because we had the smoke pollution. And these are my strawberry plants. They are starting to give little buds but the squirrels are coming and take them before we get the strawberries look at this one here so I don't know if we're gonna get any because the squirrels are getting to them before us these are my onions and you guys know this year we're not planting a lot and this here right here is my sweet potato this one here is a garlic from the previous year and that's my other sweet potato these are green onions and I have some more to plant and right here is another pepper and I see that the squirrel was in here digging up for something and they cover up all the leaves see they're hiding their nuts in my plant pots and I'm not happy about that and this is my maruwiri pepper they dug up this one as well and they have holes here if you notice and here this is the other maruwiri pepper look out these holes those are from the square and here are my two karailas but the wind is too much for them so i have to brace them up with something so they don't break and the marigolds are coming they are strong but they have a long way to go and the mint we can't stop the mint from flourishing and this here is gonna bear a nice yellow flower and my black eyed susan is right in the back here so that's all we have this summer So I have a coconut in my hand and I'm going to show you how I break my coconut neat in half so I can grate it on a sit down grater. Today I'm going to be making some mango and coconut popsicle and icicle. First of all we need a fresh coconut. Let me show you how I break my coconut. You need something heavy like this. This is the heaviest thing I can find and I'm going to go ahead and break this coconut to show you how I do it. Watch the phone. You can see it's breaking. And if you're not used to this, you have to be careful because you can pound yourself or pinch your hands with the coconut. And then there you go. Nice and round in half. I bore a hole to get the water out so nice and neat look at that so i'm gonna grate this now on my sit down grater and we're gonna have fresh coconut milk for our mango and coconut popsicle and icicle if you don't have a sit down grater you can dig the coconut out of the shell make sure that you protect your hand with a gloves or a pot holder i find that the pot holder have more cushion you have to go in there with a round tip knife not a pointed one because if it slip you can really hurt yourself be careful when you're doing this process or you can break your coconut into smaller pieces and it will be easier for you to dig it out of the shell sometimes you will get it into pieces and sometimes you will get big pieces like this so all you have to do now is wash it and it's good to go the shells are usually used back home to make fire and cook in the fireside but here we do not have it but i still keep mine because you can do some kind of outdoor cooking or even some decorations with the coconut shell so hobby convinced me to blend the coconut instead of grating it so we cut it up into small pieces add some water and we're gonna puree until nice and fine so guys we just finished blending the coconut with some water and we are straining it now into a bowl you can see that rich fresh milk 
of the coconut I'm gonna squeeze out all the liquid from this and we will have some more in there so I'm gonna squeeze out that milk like this to get out all of the liquid so we're gonna use some very ripe mango for this recipe and I'm gonna go in peel these mangoes up look at this you know that this mango is gonna be very very nice and sweet today it is an easy refreshing recipe but yet delicious and nutritious who doesn't like a juicy nice mango today we're gonna change it up and add it into a popsicle or an icicle which bring us back to back home childhood memories and for my kids I always like to share my childhood memories with them so I'm gonna slice this up into pieces this is a juicy ripe mango look at that guys and I'm gonna cut it back into small pieces add it to my blender and we will blend the mango up to add to our popsicle and icicle today so now we're gonna add some freshly squeezed coconut milk into the mangoes and we will blend it until it is nice and smooth I'm adding about three cups of the milk once you blend that mango it's gonna start getting thick so we need to add enough liquid in there so I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg in mine you can leave it as it is but I just want to add nutmeg because I like the flavor of nutmeg when we used to make a creamsicle back home so we're gonna go ahead and add that beautiful mango puree now into our coconut milk so we have that nutmeg flavor and I really love that color coming through beautiful fresh natural yellow color at this point you can leave it as it is or you can add sweetener to it I'm gonna go in with a little bit of sweetened condensed milk to hype it up a little on a hot summer day I like to have a nice flavor popsicle or icicle with enough sweetener to brighten up my day you can add any sweetener of your choice honey brown sugar condensed milk whatever I'm gonna add condensed milk to keep it on the creamier side so I'm gonna add about half a cup of sweetened condensed milk and I'm gonna whisk it in here to sweeten our mango and coconut milk so now we're gonna put these ones we're making the popsicle and I'm doing it in a cup I'll show you the finish it is beautiful when it's done and you look at how the liquid is nice and thick and rich from that coconut milk and from the mango puree and the little bit of condensed milk that I added this is gonna be delicious and refreshing so about one cup of the liquid I'm adding to these cups that I'm making the popsicle and they have a flavor of mango lassi for those who had mango lassi before it tastes exactly like that so I'm gonna set these aside and I'll show you how I'm gonna add my popsicle stick to them and I will start pulling off my icicle in the icicle bags so I'm gonna put these in the freezer now to freeze my popsicle sticks are shorter than the cup so I'll wait until these are frozen a bit before I stick them right in the middle of the cup so hubby is taking this in, into the freezer and then I'll start pulling out my icicles so with my icicle bags I will put a little funnel I have here and I'm gonna fold some of my mixture in and leave room so I can tie the top of the icicle bag about three quarter way up we're gonna go and then I'll try to get out all the air from this bag twist it on the top and then we will give it a good tie so the liquid cannot run out of the bag I want to shout out to my friend Alicia thank you so much for these icicle bag her mom brought these from Guyana for her and she shared some with me so Alicia if you and your mom 
are watching this video shout out to you and your mom and thank you guys so much for sharing your icicle bag with me it is very hard to find here in canada unless i think you buy them online or somebody bring them back from guyana for you so with this mixture that i have in the bowl we're gonna get a good portion of the icicle or freezy whichever one the kids say freezy here in canada we used to say icicle back home but when they're done, they are very delicious. So I just fill off my icicle or freezies. I have about 12 here and we got about five of the popsicle ones. I'm gonna put these in the freezer. They usually take about three to four hours. We will see before the night is out if they're gonna be ready, but make sure you leave them in your freezer. You can leave them for overnight, but I know my kids will check it every hour. So I'll keep you guys posted once they are done. So I mentioned before that my popsicle sticks were shorter than the cup. So I waited until my popsicles were frozen a little bit. And then I am going in now with my popsicle stick. As you can see, they already start to form up. So that's another tips how to do them and make sure that you don't wait until it's completely frozen or else you won't get it in there. I'm gonna put them back into my freezer now, maybe for another two hours, and then we will come back and show you how they look. Here it is, my friends. After about four hours, our mango and coconut, icicle, freezy, creamsicle, whatever you wanna call it, is done. And I have here our popsicle version. I'm gonna take one out, give it to Natalie, and I'm gonna sit down outside and have one. I'm gonna have mine in the bag because right now I'm working on something else and I'm gonna have this one here later. So let me take them out in the cup and show you all. So to get these out of the cup, I just squeeze around the cup a little bit like that, just to loosen it up. If it's hard and you can't get it out, just wet the outside with some water and easy peasy lemon squeezy like that there you go look how big and beautiful they are and i'm gonna give the kids one each look at that it is so nice and creamy and very flavorful and i have one here for all my youtube family we will share so here it is my friends you can clip the end off a nice little piece like that and then you go in for it like this Mm. mango flavor is so rich and so sharp mm -mm -mm. not too sweet but so creamy oh my goodness mm -mm 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 -mm. it is also flaky on the inside so guys i hope you like this video give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel we hope you'll consider subscribing soon until then we want to say stay blessed stay safe bye for now